Hey YouTube, coming at you with the Greatly team, and this is built around man time because I was looking just for, I, I already mentioned, Glade and for Alligator, 100% top 10 to 15 Pokemon in this Great League meta right now. Um, so I was, I'm looking for core breakers. I used, um, I used Crudilly, sorry, earlier this morning. I'm using Mantine now. I don't think you're going to see the other one, but I used Galvantula too. So I'm, I'm finding these core breakers for it. Um, so Mantine, obviously great, resisting the Hydro Cannons and then hitting Super Effective with Wing Attack Air Lace against Gallade. And it's just very bulky. I have Bubble Beam because you can use Ice Beam. I use Bubble Beam because I, it was better for a Factions matchup. So I had it on and I'm not using my TMs to take it off when I do not have a lot of those left. Uh, if you're going to use Mantine, you're going to have problems against Steels. So Whiskash there. And then Raticate was the one where I put it in because a lot of the times I'm seeing... First of all, I love Raticate, um, even though a lot of people don't. I f I'm finding a lot of between the Feraligator and Lickitung, there's a lot of just like Lick and a Ghost fast move and Trevenant's coming back. So what's better than triple resisting a Ghost move with a normal dark typing? And that is why I put it in and it definitely was useful against some of those Pokemon. Uh, so let's see. Terrible lead. Whizcash. The problem with this is... It's, it's not the worst case scenario. It's kind of bad. You only have one safe swap here. Radicant can't be safe swap because you're double weak to fighting. Uh, and there's a heck of a lot more fighters than there are than there are grass in this meta right now. So you have to safe swap Whizcash. In general, again, only one weakness in grass. If you see grass, you're in huge trouble. If not, then you can kind of stay in with almost anything. Even resisted like dragons and stuff. You like The second worst may be like Altaria maybe as a flyer dragon. Outside of that, you can probably chip against most stuff. And speaking about chipping against most stuff, uh, grabbed a shield here. Uh, just going to come and eat it on Mantine. And then Raticate will have to try here. So Raticate's got a interesting move set. So the quick attack is a decent char char fast move for generation. Um, and then the returns obviously such super hard hitting and then crunch. Um, I can see crunch is off and that's bothering me crunch um, does a good chip crunch right and you get to it pretty quickly right getting to the second one before they get to the second focus blast even though they had an energy advantage so this will be good chip um, and the second time I lowered their uh, defense which is nice they do have um, a focus blast well that will one shot me um, I'm going to throw here and hoping that my switch clock is probably up, I may try and credit, like catch a focus blast or let's see what I decide to do here. Yeah, I tried to catch one. They do not get to the move. I guess they're trying to get to the um, thunder zap cannon. There it is. And the benefits of bubble beam coming out right here. They probably ran future sight, so they'd have no move to throw at me. And then I just lower their attack. In a neutral matchup, you just kind of stand against everything. Again, my IVs are not ideal. Um, I probably only had it from hatching and then these are the IVs that I had, uh, which are not ideal, but I'm going to at least fake like I have an ice beam because ice beam will one shot. So I expect that no, no shield, uh, and they come up to like a tongue, lower their attack. I don't need to lower their attack before I just get out into Raticate, but I am lowering their attack just to make this three times resistant licks way, way worse. And holy smokes, talk about doing absolutely nothing. get the defense lower which is huge because now it's probably within like crunch range a power whip is not gonna do much and the whole <laughs> and this is just i so i'm gonna take another move i'm fine i'm fine taking another move if i can come out with like throw a crunch to take it out and come out with a crunch is all i'm basically looking for um so got up to 100 energy there throw the first crunch if the dragon comes back in i'll throw it right away probably throw it blindly Anyways, counter, it looks like a Medi, so counter user, this should delete me in like two moves here. I'm going to instant swap, get hit with the Dragon Breath down. I mean, I got it. Oh, I'm sacrificing? Yeah, okay. I'm sacrificing this energy. Hoping to farm down, and now with shield advantage and scald here, I should be able to take this out. Pretty easy because you're going to outpace. Counters will add up. 
um, and you do just need to shield up even ice punches. The only sort of lose con here is they have, if they have power punch and they can just like ramp up. But with ice punch and a shield advantage, I should be able to do it. Although I, I remember throwing two skulls and not getting the attack lower on either of these. Uh, so that was unfortunate, but it happens. So shield up a second ice punch, get a scald off, and then should be able to much shot down before they take me out here. Yeah, but geez, that's way closer than it should be. That's why I think like the uh, shadow probably is better, but I don't have a shadow. Anyways, excuse me. Oh. There's your Feraligator. Feraligator does have Ice Beam, which will chip here a good amount. Um, but you'll still get it just outpace, and then they come in Reggie. And I have Wizcash, so just have to take the neutral focus blast. But that's okay. What do they have on the lead? For Alligator? Yeah. Shielding a focus blast up. Because I feel like focus blast is going to do a ton. Although Hydro is going to do just as much. Uh, can I farm down? Perfect. And it is a Cress, which is okay. You know, grab a couple Scalds and then... Do I try and catch? I try and... Yeah, I was going to say. Catching and sacrificing at the same time here. And now I can get Raticate and just get ahead on energy here. They're throwing. I'm assuming it's just a Grass Knot. Yeah, and now get this crunch off. They're likely to shield to try and get a hydro off because they have two shields. I, th I think they can maybe get to two because they already had energy. No, they cannot, which means this is probably over. Unless they have Moonblast, but if they don't, this, thing, this game's over. Yeah, they don't even bother shielding because there is just no point. Or they know I'm going to get to a second. Okay. Or they know I'm going to get to a second crunch and you don't want to shield up the first crunch if they can lower your attack and the second one will do more, as I did lower their attack now. Not that it matters. Dragonair again, so I'll just stay in. Air Lace here. Um, yeah, so I've got like four more teams and obviously only one more day and i do want to do like a tier list early risers and fallers list tomorrow so that for sure is coming um and then i think i'm going to do the umbreon team but i have i got an umbreon team i have a galvantula team i have a other team so i'll i'll, I'll save all those for the next time great league rolls around which is good because i can just uh if I have time, some I mean, I'm never. I'm so far behind on videos. Like usually, I can try and get ahead by like a day or two, but I'm not doing that. March twenty second to 29th. Um, which is perfect. 29th is okay. That is. So I got to bring my stuff down. Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm just looking at the schedule because. I already, I kind of already talked about next week is Ultra League. Oh, I'll, I'll put a poll up. Next week is Ultra League and Great League Spring Cup Edition. But then the following week is Master League and Great League Spring Cup Edition. So we're going to have two Spring Cups. So the question is, do you want me to... Man, lots of Dragonair leads. Do you want me to... Unless I did the same video twice. Or there's just like Dragonair leads all over the place. Um... Do you want me to do... I'm going to for sure do some Spring Cup next week, but my my gut says I should focus on Ultra League and do a few Spring Cups and then do all the Spring Cups on the Master League week. But let me know what you want to see next week if you're, or you're just going to play, play Spring Cup two weeks straight. Because Spring Cup, I think, does have variety. No. Water, grass, and fairy only. Oh no, we have a two-week cup with only three Pokemon.
Okay. At least there's... I'm just looking at the rankings. Anyways, I told you how to use the team. Basically, Mantine staying in all the time. If they switch out and you can punish, do that. Um, if not, Whiskash is your safe swap. This is a very limited meta. But it's interesting because there are like 25 Pokemon that I, I don't know how they'll work in this meta. But they're one to look into. So Weez, Galarian Weezing is number one, obviously, with Water, Grass, and Fairy. Having the overheat for the grass and then just a brutal swing um, for the other second move in general is good. Lots of grass, which makes sense because if it's a poison grass or a steel grass like Ferrothorn at number two, you resist the you resist fairy and you resist water. So Ferrothorn, so it's gonna be pretty grass heavy. Ferrothorn, Abomas no Tropius, superior. Um, and then the other waters have other aspects to it so like steel wing and polion steel wing at number five and shadow at five non shadow at eight because steel wing does super effective against fairies and then you have the drill pick for the grass um pelipper right wing attack as there tentacruel with the poison jabs hitting super effective against both so tentacruel is a sneaky pick there but then there's like trevenant venusaur dugong galisopod carbink wall rain so there's options um, maybe up even to number 30, right? Because you have Polyrath at 27, Celio 29, Mawel at 30, and Fraligator at 34. So there's definitely some options in this league. Is there enough options for two weeks of it? Eh. We'll see. Yeah, so maybe I'll start... Maybe I'll, again, I'll take a poll to see, like, what you guys want to watch. But maybe I'll start with, like, Ultra League, the new, like, the Feraligator and Empoleon and, and Gallade in Ultra League first. And then we'll move to the Spring Cup. And then next week will be all Spring Cup. Yeah, the only problem with this Raticate Manta, I like again, I like using Raticate because it can just wall some stuff pretty hard. But the problem with using Manta and Raticate Core is against Steels, your fast move is resisted on both. And you can only throw the Crunch on Raticates, which makes it a little trickier um, to use, but pretty spammy. Pretty spammy. So I gotta upload this immediately. <laughs> Lucky I had a couple meetings canceled this morning. Um, but yeah, we will upload this for this afternoon. And then we'll do, a, again, two videos, Umbreon and a tier list, early risers and followers for tomorrow. And then top teams for Ultra League and top teams for Spring Cup on Friday. And then we'll roll into the next week. Yeah, the one thing I said I was looking at was um, Easter is very early here this season. Easter fluctuates. Um, usually it's in like beginning to mid-April. But this year it's actually end of March, March 29th to 31st slash first weekend there. So I'll be headed back to my parents. So you may get a few videos. I can probably bank it looks like it's great league and ultra premiere so i can bank maybe like a great league video here and there but and then just shoot a couple ultra premieres while i'm there i can't believe it's march 6th already this summer this winter has flown by and it's because like okay yeah i'm completely off topic now but whatever um this winter has flown by and we got this what well, l something um it is currently, so Ottawa, let me see this historical, this is <laughs> this is a very off topic stuff, obviously nothing related to the battles, but you know, you've done this. Um, so to put in perspective, February 2023 last year, 
Um, you had highs of minus 10 in snow, uh, probably earlier in February. It's probably even colder. It was a pretty mild, you know what? Last year was pretty mild too. Let me go with the previous year. Uh, yeah, high of minus 10, high of minus 13, minus eight, some warm days, but then we had, oh yeah, look, minus 18, minus 17, minus 16. Those are highs for February, which is like average with snow. And then this year, because there's this like weird warm front, 16 and rain, it fluctuates like 12, 12, 13, minus 11, minus 12, plus four. It's been all over the place. So I usually have like a 15 foot high snow pile on my front and I've got just like a little dinky patch left. It's crazy. Anyways, all that to say is it doesn't feel like winter and this winter is going by very quickly. I can't believe it's March 6th already. Um, because our winters essentially start here like in October, like late October, early November. So the fact that we're already four months out of the six in, and it's like this is crazy. Um, is this still going? Okay, one more battle. And we'll just stay in here. I'll probably even take the rock slide. Whiskash, Radicate, Mantine are all like kind of sneaky bulky. So, I mean, some of those are obviously more bulky than others, just... Uh, but they're all pretty bulky. You don't need to worry about much. And then Radicate. Hello, Sableye. I mean, your quick attack is resisted. Um, but their claws are triple resisted. Are you double? Is normal double resisted by Ghost? Or single resisted? So I may be double resisted too, but I get to the crunches faster. I assume it's going to be a return. It'd be pretty stupid to throw a resisted foul play. So I feel like that was worth the shield there. And then take it out, and I still have a ton of health. I mean, Vigoroth, double weak to counter here, so this will hurt a ton. They may just try for the farm down, and I'm not going to let them. So I'm immediately going to get out. There's definitely no point to getting farmed down there. Grab a shield. Out comes a Gengar killer. Um, unless they only have ghost moves and then they're in huge trouble here and they only have ghost move. So that is a triple resisted <laughs> shadow ball with a super effective crunch coming your way. And this is why I like Radicate. Not that you see many Gengars, but there's a lot of ghost type move Pokemon, right? And this was, a, this was, why is, why am I doing this? This was a 5-0. Um, again, early in the season, but I've got a pretty good win rate right now. I've done 130, 135 matchups, something like that. And I've got like 85 wins, something like that. I'm doing pretty well this season. Um, I haven't had, I had like one bad set for the most part. I'm doing pretty well, which is good. We'll see what I get my, when my rating, I should get my rating in a couple days, maybe. Cause I'm at like level eight, 17 or 18 right now. So I should get it in a few, couple days. Anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.